Okay, by design, we were just uh, kind of forced off the Rich Lou River. River and into this this canal system. This is a Chamblou, Cham Chambly. Chambly Canal. Uh, I feel like I'm on Mars, but anyway, I'm not. So we're going up this canal. We're not going to be able to get through it tonight, but uh, we'll go up part of the way. They said we could dock somewhere up here in, uh, what was the name of that town? Somewhere. Chambly, I think she said, and spend the night. So it's a brand new video, and here we go. Here's a beautiful church across the river over there. Nice. Lock number nine, uh, headed north. I uh, had to buy a seasonal pass, a seasonal canal pass. Had to gag up $281.65, but in case anybody wants to travel up here. We're in St. Jean. St. Jean. St. Jean, Canada. It's an hour and a half to the next lock. Uh, there's that church again. So anyway, here we go. All right, since that last video, there's the last lock we went through. We just came through six locks today. It took us two and a half hours. The real short locks. These last five were very close together within two or three hundred yards. So we we're able to pop right through those. We look like veterans coming through. But anyway, we're going to go up here to this free city dock at uh, Chambly. Spend the night. We're in Chambly, C H A M B L Y, Canada. Oh, everywhere we go, somebody's rocking out. Here's a, they're having a street festival tonight. We're docked up over there at a free dock, which is good to me. I can stand this. But anyway, somebody's always rocking out. Okay, this is uh, July the 7th. This is Chambly Canal. We came up yesterday through every lock except these three right here. And there's our boat right over there, Miss Jenny. Uh, we're in Chambly, Canada. And we'll go, we're going to go through these three locks. There's three locks right here, and it'll drop us probably 30 or 40 feet. The total drop from when we came in yesterday is 80 feet. And then we'll be in where? Richelieu River. Richelieu River. And we're going through that cut right up there headed to Sorrel, which will put us on the St. Lawrence Seaway. So that's where we are right now. And, uh, I'll keep you posted. Another little blurb. They're having a two-day festival here. Uh, I guess they heard we were coming up. And uh, But anyway, this, uh, this uh, Chambly Canal runs parallel to the Richelieu River all the way up uh, and we went through the by the Richelieu River we could see it off to our right a couple of times had rapids in it and so forth so they had to dig this canal to make this thing navigable. A little historical tidbit the uh, Richelieu River which is right out here at Chambly used to be called the Iroquois, Iroquois River which I didn't know I've heard of the Iroquois but never the Richelieu River. Fort Chambly Take the waterway of the Iroquois River, better known now as the Richelieu River. All right, here's a little action on how they operate these locks. They're all, most of these folks are young people. I guess they're employed by the Park Service. But you can see the bridge is opening, and as that's happening, these ladies and all of these uh, operators' operations are hand cranked. These hand cranked operators, and that's how they open and close the locks. Pretty interesting. That bridge, they shut the little draw of the uh, arms put the arms down and uh, you know, open the locks just a little info. pretty interesting all three of these locks are right together so it's different most of the locks all, all the locks we've been through have been separated but as you can see these are all three right together July the 8th uh, there's St. Lawrence Seaway that's going toward the ocean we're gonna leave here in about 10 minutes we just had to do laundry and uh, head toward Montreal, which is 53 miles from here. So, I'll keep you posted. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Ma. I got a little side story here. Last night, there was a boat parked right here, and I was talking to those folks, and I heard some commotion down at our boat. I looked over there, and some guy had Jenny in an embrace, and her little tippy toes were just barely scraping the asphalt, and uh, didn't look like she was resisting too much. And it was a guy that we had met in Oriental North Carolina and he had just he lives here in Chambly 
but I, they certainly were glad to see each other. I'm glad I was around, but I was. So she wasn't resisting very much. But anyway, he finally put it down. More to that story. He, uh, they're having a festival here, as I've said a hundred times, but he was just over here checking it out, and he's a boat freak. He loves boats, and he looked over here and saw these two Yamahas sitting here in this little canoe, and, uh, and then he recognized Jenny, and it was history after that. I got the toughest duty on here, getting ready to go through this lock. I've got to make sure these engines crank up, everything's working. We didn't realize that our niece, Hannah Poston, was working up here in Canada, operating the locks. So there she is. It's not her, it's her twin sister. Get up the, the St. Lawrence Seaway and turn around and look here, and here's a line of boats that's running. I might as well run with them. I think I might fall in behind them, but because my efficiency at this rate is not very good. It'd be almost as good if I'm traveling with those people. But anyway, here they come. I think I'll get in there with them. Uh, well, for anybody interested, I tried to run with those boats for a little while, and, and this boat, I, I, I've got to get to about 30, 30 miles an hour for it to be efficient, uh, where I get a mile per gallon. Uh, but, but those boats were running about 27, and if I do that, I'm getting about three quarters of a mile per gallon. So that was just stupid for me to try to run with them. So. I just let them go. I'm back to idle. If I want to run, I'm have to run by myself or find somebody that can run. You know, that runs about 30. Same configuration this I have. This is a mountain range about 10 miles north of Chambly, Quebec, the Rivalou River. These boaters are completely insane. They do not know what no weight means. It's crazy out here. Moving on up the river, Canada is gorgeous, even though the boaters are crazy. Today is, uh, uh, this is uh, July the 7th in the evening. We've been headed up this way all day. That We're in Sorel, Canada. Quebec. Quebec. And uh, this is the St. Lawrence Seaway. We've zipped up here through the Iroquois River, the Richelieu River, and uh, they're out to the ocean that way. And there's Miss Jenny. You can just barely see her over there. It's the fourth boat in, but we're stationed here for the night. And we're going to leave in the morning and head southwest and hopefully south. We, we'll get there. But anyway, just wanted to bring you up to speed on where we were. Well, we're in Montreal. We got here a couple hours ago. It's 50 miles. And the St. Lawrence Seaway beat us up pretty bad. It was all, it reminded me of Albemarle Sound when we came across that. And they're partying. I mean, don't people work anymore? This is Canada. But uh, we got here, and we're going to stay here tonight and tomorrow night and uh, see what happens after that. Move on. It's Tuesday morning, July the 9th. Uh, just a little scan of uh, downtown, or, or old town, old Montreal. And we're uh, going to spend the night here tonight. Uh, we're docked right over there. You see our boat. And this guy right here on this boat, this, this 120-foot yacht, just gorgeous, was kind enough, the captain was kind enough to give us a tour. The guy that owns it's 85 year old gentleman. He lives here. He made his money. I think he said in the car business and self storage and whatever. Just an entrepreneur. Done very well, obviously. Uh, we're on the St. Lawrence River. When we, we go about here, turn left and then turn back to the right on the other side of that island, and we're headed to uh, to Kingston, which is Kingston's right on Lake Ontario, which is right on Lake Ontario, and we'll go there. Uh, probably in two trips. It's about maybe a hundred miles. So we're, we're going to probably anchor over down the seaway somewhere tomorrow. But I'm wrapping this video up. I'll start another one uh, uh, that, uh, that encompasses Montreal. Before the rest I of sign it. off, uh, I, I said about a hundred miles, about 170 miles to Lake Ontario, Kingston, Lake Ontario, which is on Lake Ontario from here. It takes us three days, not two. Uh, another mistake I made was um, I said those canal docks where we docked up were free. Well, we thought they were until we got in the last lock and before she'd let us out. Uh, they're not free. It was like 90 cents a foot, which is not bad. But uh, anyway, nothing's free up here. Pretty, though.